girl hey welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome today is friday and i'm thinking i'm gonna make this a weekend vlog it's gonna be a lot of solo parenting going on this weekend because deshaun is out of town at a conference but let's hop into this makeup because i got a couple places i want to go before lunchtime I am so freaking excited because y'all I finally got a vanity my vanity got here today I'm probably gonna set it up sometime tonight I've also been wanting some gold jewelry but it's honestly just not in the budget right now y'all I did find this girl on TikTok who has like some really nice gold jewelry and she was talking about um, Scott's Antique Market I want to go see what they have just kind of look around see if I can find some things they're only open once a month and they're not too, too far from my house. So I figured that's the perfect thing to do. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, also just in the space that like, I am just so proud of myself, like working on myself and really taking good care of myself. And that makes me so happy. I've been having so much fun with doing my content. And honestly, I used to care so much about what everybody thought of me. like. What is this person gonna think about me trying to do content? Like, is it gonna look awkward? Like I had so many thoughts and I'm just so happy that I no longer care. Honestly, there is no point in caring about what people think about you because one, their opinions can change and are gonna change and like our own opinions change. And also like, what are their thoughts gonna do to you physically? And I would go through like my anxiety bouts and I would think like, oh my gosh, should I post this or you know, should I film this content? I was just thinking in the back of my head like, okay, and if I film it and I post it and somebody has something to say, one, they're probably not gonna say it. Two, I have no idea what they're thinking because they're on the other side of the camera. And three, I'm still gonna be alive at the end of it. Like at the end of the day, I'm still gonna be alive. I'm still gonna be with the people that I love. And so for that reason, it's like, why not do it? And I've really started to adopt that mindset across my entire life. Like even when it comes to my career, my anxiety has lessened a lot because I place so much less weight on what other people are thinking about me. And that has helped me. I've been doing a lot of reading and therapy has helped. I talk about therapy a lot, but it's because girl, therapy, therapy literally changed my life. Like, game changer for me, game changer. So if you, if you battle with anxiety or like you if you battle with anxiety or your thoughts tend to like affect your behaviors and your emotions and things like that honestly cognitive behavioral therapy is a, a good place to start um at least it was a good place to start for me i'm feeling really good i'm feeling really confident i'm trying out something new with my eyebrows i'm trying this got to be glue because I've been seeing the girls all over TikTok talk about it, how their eyebrows don't move and I love the way their eyebrows come out and honestly, me just looking at this now, my eyebrows look so good. They look already so much better and they don't have that white residue so yeah. This year is a year that like, I'm saying on business, okay? I'm not playing around with myself because this is something that I really want to do and something that I really enjoy doing. And so it's like, why not try? It's like, even if you come up short, it's like, at least you try. And honestly, at the end of the day, I've adopted the mindset that as long as I'm growing internally, I'm good. I'm gonna be using this skin glass again because girl, I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. Such a dewy, soft look. So yeah, talking about content, I'm just really excited this year to continue just putting myself out there and just trying new things. There are so many ideas that I have about the type of content that I want to put out there. Like there's so many different dimensions to me and I'm just so excited to express myself this year in so many different ways. Like, when God gives you like the urge and he gives you the grace to work through something, something like working through anxiety and working through like being afraid of what other people think of me. Like when he gave me the grace to get through that, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna take it and run with it. And I honestly feel like that's what this year is gonna be like for me. I truly believe that like when God gives you a vision and he gives you, um, when he gives you dreams and when he gives you things, like puts things on your heart and he continues to put them on there, then that means something. And for me, because I really enjoy creating content and editing, like, I'm just, I'm so excited about it. And the thing is, 
The thing about living in a digital age is that you don't have to ask for permission. Like, you don't have to ask for permission to put yourself out there to do something new, to learn new things. I'm 28 years old and I'm literally just now learning how to do my makeup and it's like, I'm not behind. You're not behind. You're not lacking anything. Like, you can do whatever you want to do. And I also just feel like when you practice things, you start to get better and better. And like, I just think about the time that I first turned on my camera last year to now and it's like my confidence has already grown since then and it's like if I could grow in confidence in a year like imagine how much I can grow if I just continue to be consistent just taking it day by day and consistent but not perfect that's the type of time that I'm on I want to be the very best version of myself and in order to do that I have to literally pour into myself I never thought that I would be the girl that would be doing mascara because I just felt like mascara doesn't really work for me I don't really have any eyelashes until people start telling me like girl you have long eyelashes you just need to enhance them and like girl I could go on and on because that'll preach in itself it's like girl you think you don't have what you need but at the end of the day you have what you need you just gotta work with it and girl 2024 I'm working with what I got, okay? That's the look, we're done. I'm gonna keep it real simple. This B. Simone lip pencil in the color, what color is this? Block Him is the color. I've had this for a while, we're gonna try this out today. So I'm gonna do this lip pencil. I already have something on my lips right now, so. I'm wearing this Naturium um, Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the color Jam. That's what I was just wearing before and I love that lip gloss. I'm a lip gloss type of girl. I love a good lip gloss. I'm always buy lip gloss. For my lip, I'm gonna do my favorite, which I need to re-up on this. The Dior Lip Glow Oil in the color Cherry. This is a favorite, y'all. This is a favorite. I have been using this for years. It never does me wrong. It's literally the perfect, like, reddish color and I love it so much all right quick simple easy that is my makeup for the day now I'm about to go get dressed so that we can go to antique shop and see what they have all right y'all I just pulled up at the expo market so I think this is called the Atlanta expo market and it's literally this big parking lot I had to pay five dollars to get in and park now we're gonna go inside and see what we find Okay, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to vlog in here because I didn't know what the vibe was going to be like. But it's literally a big open shop. It's literally a big open shop and people are pretty much just selling antique things. And I really want to come back with Deshaun because I'm sure we could probably find some really nice stuff for our house. And I don't know, it's just... It's better when we shop together. I'm literally specifically just looking for jewelry. So, so I already found some jewelry that I really like. But I want to show y'all these rugs. Oh my gosh, y'all. These rugs are so freaking pretty. I need to come back with Deshaun so we can see what kind we may want. <laughs> I found some really good stuff here for a really good price so I'm happy with what I got I only got jewelry like I planned so let's go home and then I'll show y'all what I picked up all right y'all I'm back home girl let me tell you one thing about being a mama it's always something okay my last school texted me and was like basically a lot of the teachers are sick so basically I need to go pick her up a little bit earlier then I plan to, but it's all good because I love my baby and I'll be ready to get her anyways. But let me show y'all some of the things that I picked up. I'm so happy with the things that I found. Oh wait, this isn't everything, hold on. There's this dollar spot and I had already picked out a couple of things from this spot. Let me show y'all what I picked up. I picked up this, 
So I picked up this bracelet. And y'all, look how pretty this bracelet is. I just feel like this is such a nice statement bracelet. I also picked up this bangle. I paid $4 for both of these. $4, y'all. So I got those two things. And then I got these bangles from the dollar table and they were $1 a piece. And I mean, come on y'all, a dollar for some little gold bangles. I mean, love them. They are so freaking cute. I also stopped by this other jewelry table and I got three different bracelets and I got all of these bracelets for $17. So I went here First, so had I known that this was gonna be a dollar at another table, I would've never got this, but I got this. And then I also got this little charm bracelet that I thought was really cute. And honestly, I could probably give this to Myla at some point um, because it is really small. But it's just a little charm bracelet with little red hearts. How fitting for Valentine's Day. Probably would be a cute little present for her. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was cute and it has a cross on there and it also has a little anchor. So I got that and I also got this bracelet and y'all look at how cute this bracelet is. Like it is so cute and it's such a cute little statement bracelet. So I ended up getting these three bracelets all for $17. And then the last thing I got was a necklace and I've been wanting a jade necklace for a while. Um, fitting because my name is Jade, but I also just really love the way it looks. And I saw this at the table as soon as I came in, like literally before I even went inside, I saw this. And so I ended up picking up this necklace and it is so cute. This was the most expensive thing that I bought and it was only $45. So, and you can bargain. So I was trying to ask the man like, um, hey, would you sell this to me for cheaper? But he was pretty much like, no, because he said it's real jade. So I was like, you know what? I can't beat it. Like I've literally seen these necklaces for double the price, if not triple. So I was definitely not mad at that. So these are all the things that I've got and I'm very happy with my purchase. So the ticket that I have, it lasts for the whole entire weekend and there apparently is a whole nother building there that I didn't even make it into because I just went on my lunch break so I didn't really have like a ton of time to like go to the next place and look around. But I feel like I did pretty good. Like I don't feel like I need to go back and get anything else. I got what I went for, which was basically just some new jewelry. Um, now that I have these things, what am I about to do? I'm about to finish work and then I'm gonna go pick up Myla a little early. Also, I think before I pick up Myla, I'm gonna vacuum out my car because we bought a handheld vacuum because child, when you have kids, let me just tell you, crumbs are so inevitable. <laughs> much almost done I got so much of this done so tomorrow when I wake up I'm probably just gonna finish I wanted to get as much as I could done while my is asleep because trying to do this with these little pieces with the toddler is just chaos but at this point I am ready to take a shower I'm literally sweating and I'm ready to get in the bed so good night y'all I will see y'all tomorrow good morning Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning, and somehow we managed to sleep. Hey, girl. Somehow we managed to sleep until 7.25 this morning. Yes, baby. 
Yes, baby. Isla only woke up one time through the night. She woke up like around five something and then we went back to sleep 10 minutes later because I was like, girl, mama gotta get some rest. Um, but now we're up and we've already done our morning routine. Yes, baby. And now I'm about to fix my baby some breakfast, fix myself some breakfast and some coffee. And then we're gonna go upstairs and finish his vanity. Also, like I said, I need to go ahead and order some groceries. So I got my laptop so I can do that. But yeah, girl, we up bright and early on this Saturday morning. So let's get the day started. Hey y'all, I just woke up from a good little 30 minute, 40 minute nap that I really needed. Myla is asleep right now and I'm about to go ahead and set my vanity up and get it together. So I just want to show y'all my space beforehand because girl, it's about to transform. So this is what it looks like beforehand and it's been like this for a while. I have my little vision board, my makeup and stuff is all in there and we're about to put the vanity in. So let's do it. plug in my iPhone 15 because it has a USB and a USB-C so I love that for me and then I think this also has the same it also has a USB and a USB-C shout out to um shout out to them making items that got the new iPhone plugins but yeah y'all I love it and I'm so freaking happy about it I'm about to be sitting here all the time okay y'all know I could not wait to try this out on. <sighs> cannot wait the husband is about to be sick of me okay this area like we had said at some point like was maybe going to be like a little reading nook but we took too long to figure it out and once i saw this area and i you know had my stuff in here for a while i was like let's just go ahead and make it official okay i'm about to oil my braids because I usually really honestly don't do usually don't do a really good job of like upkeeping my braids um, and I haven't oiled my scalp scalp since I got my hair done so that's already not really good and I can feel that my hair feels so freaking dry so I'm about to go ahead and oil my scalp um, what do y'all do to upkeep y'all's braids like what do y'all do I know some people um, some people 
use like mousse and some people wash their braids I never wash my braids like maybe in the summertime if I have braids like if I go swimming but um I usually don't wash my hair so like I have braids for like seven weeks and literally not wash my hair but I'm probably gonna have these braids for a little longer than seven weeks because they look really good still and I got them done almost a month ago so I'm probably gonna have these braids for at least almost three months to be honest but what do y'all do to keep up y'all braids like what do y'all do after I oil my braids it's getting kind of late but after I oil my braids I'm probably gonna go ahead and set my drawers up because this thing does have three drawers on it and I want to go ahead and put my makeup in there so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the night um I'm gonna get in the bed I'm gonna be planning to be asleep before midnight because we gotta be up in the morning well one I have a toddler so I'm gonna be up regardless but um Myla got invited to a one of her classmates parties tomorrow so I'm gonna take her I guess I'm I'm such an introvert like I'm the type of person that will literally like eat in my car to avoid people like the other day um, me and Myla we went to go get some Chipotle and it was like packed on the inside and I was just like you know what I really didn't want to like deal with like trying to like keep Myla you know kind of contained and being out to eat and stuff by myself so I was like we gonna eat in the car and we did we're going me taking her to this birthday party is saying a lot because I'm also not really like a small talker like I'm not really interested I'm not trying to make no mom friends like none of that but I'm just going because I think it will be something fun for Milo to do and um the little girl that invited her I do actually really like her like she really does like be looking out for Milo like um, when I pick her up, she be like, does Milo want a snack? Like, does Milo want a snack to take home? Like, and she's always speaking to me. And she's only turning three, y'all. Like, she's only turning three, but she is so sweet. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go to her party. So we're going to do that tomorrow morning. And I'll probably film in the morning, but definitely not, obviously not going to film at the party. Because, like, that's, you know, that's way too much. But, and then Deshaun will be back tomorrow morning. So that'll be cool too, because girl, we'll have both of the parents in the house, okay? Um, and then we miss him too. Like the house be so quiet and different without him. He's so extroverted and loud and all over the place. So the house really do be quiet when he be gone. So we're looking forward to him being back. And then tomorrow's also the Super Bowl and girl, Super Bowl, I'm obviously, well not obvious, but I'm just here for Usher. Like, I never know who's playing at the Super Bowl. I still don't know. I don't really care about any of that, but I do really like Usher. Honestly, like, I was kind of thinking like, maybe it would have been nice if I would've went to his residency, even though he is about to go on tour. Y'all know how, well, people like, you know, my mom's generation will always talk about like how Usher looked good when he was young and stuff because I forget how young he was like when his music came out like he was actually really young but he's still young he's still like in I think his late 40s and Usher look good y'all he's still fit in everything like he not really it's not giving old head vibes but I'm going to go ahead and fill up these drawers and then I'm gonna get in the bed probably do some reading watch some tv and just chill out for the night so yeah. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday morning. We're up. Yes, baby. We're up. Myla is having breakfast and watching some Peppa Pig. I'm about to make some coffee and I'm making myself some breakfast. Um, just some waffles and um, plant based sausage this morning. Yes, baby. We are getting ready to head to this birthday party. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, the baby's mom said that there's gonna be like a puppet show, so we're probably gonna get there 
um, for the puppet show, stay a little bit after, and then we're gonna go ahead and head out. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop by Publix this morning because I need to just get a couple of things that I wasn't able to find at, at um, Kroger. Yes, baby. Are you eating? So I'll probably um, stop by Publix and just get a couple of things that I wasn't able to get in my Kroger grocery pickup order. And then that's pretty much it for the day. Um, once Deshaun gets back in town, I think he's gonna wanna rest. And it's a rainy day here in Atlanta, so I really don't wanna do too much. Um, I was very happy to be in the house all day yesterday because I am truly a homebody at heart. So that was like completely up my alley. We're gonna get dressed. I'm gonna make my coffee. This blue bottle coffee that I've been having. The coffee hits. I've been mixing this with um, oat milk and some of that uh, sweet cream oat milk. No need to go buy coffee because we got coffee at home. So I'm gonna make that and get myself together and then I will talk to y'all in a little bit, probably when we're on our way to the party. We still got about an hour and a half till we need to leave the house, so we're doing great on time. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I think I'm gonna wear these earrings, these little checkerboard earrings. There truly is no luxury when trying to get ready with a toddler because girl, when I tell you I be running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just trying to catch her little hands, um all up under the sinks i think since i do spend a lot of time with her in the bathroom and trying to get ready i think i'm gonna get something to lock at least my side of the cabinets because her daddy don't have that much stuff over there but me girl you can't be all up in my stuff like that i would be getting dressed in my vanity right now but the way that girl would run through our bedroom and through the vanity like Ooh, it's not even worth it. So definitely tonight, I'm probably gonna just do some skincare there and just do my wine down there. But trying to do that right now is just not it. For my blush, I'm gonna do this Refi blush in the color Cherry. It is super cute, super warm. So that is the color we're going with today. I need to wash these makeup brushes today. So I'll probably do that when we get back home. Okay, my camera battery is going dead and I need to get my own together. So I'll talk to y'all when we get in the car because girl, I gotta get this baby basically dressed all over again. So yeah, I will talk to y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, we are in the car and we are getting ready to head out. I'm not even gonna hold you. I do be feeling like a superwoman every time we get out the house and it's just me and Milo because y'all, it is such a process but we made it so spray some hand sanitizer i went to amazon and ordered a whole bunch of cars because i was like as myla starts to get invited to these birthday parties i'm not going to be running to get birthday cards every time so i just got like a whole bunch of girl and boy birthday cards and we're gonna Go there with that and yeah let's go ahead and get going you ready baby all right i'll talk to y'all after this birthday party all right y'all we are currently leaving the birthday party and it was very cute for kids i'm probably not going to be able to talk and drive because i don't have my camera stand and my camera is probably gonna fall but it was real cute for the kids hey y'all i'm back home and i just wanted to show y'all something that i bought better late than never i bought the cloth and paper planner inserts so i have this planner that i've had for at least five years now and at this point in my life, not only am I managing my schedule, I'm also managing my husband's and Myla's schedule. So the busier we get, the more I realize that I really just need to stay organized. So I went ahead and bought some inserts from Clock and Paper. I've already opened the package, but I just love their packaging. Like I'm always gonna shop Cloth and Paper because it's just 
so chic and so timeless and like I said I bought this um at least five years ago and like look how like nice it still is it's genuine leather and it just you know it stands the test of time and I love that about their products this I've had for years um and I haven't really switched it up much but let me just show y'all gratitude and then there's this cute little quote here I bought these stickers y'all so long ago and I still haven't finished using them so I'm definitely gonna um put these to use this year and then I just went ahead and got the um so I think this is considered the A5 I'll write it um in the description below so like if you're interested in this planner or this company you can shop it but I got the vertical inserts and these start on Sundays and this is just the yearly planner so it has like the overview of the year so year at a glance you got everything here all of the holidays are here easy for you to see and then then we get into um, the months so you can write down first of all any notes that you may have and I also have some note cards I tend to use those pretty often I bought some note cards that can fit in here and I've had them for a while and they come in really handy but you can write down your goals so I'm super excited about this because I'm definitely gonna be writing down my goals in here any important dates and your bills due. now I do track my bills online separately so I probably won't be entering that in here but it is nice to have and then there's also like this extra checklist here in case you want to use that and then I do like that the whole month is kind of like out right in front of your face because we have a planner or a calendar on our refrigerator that I use but this is going to be really handy because I can have this with me on the go and um you know really just see what our weeks are going to look like from week to week okay and then this is when we get into the week to week view so this is starting in january and then as you can see all the days are kind of just laid out and yeah you just kind of fill this in i like to um i like to fill in my my planner for half of the year just because i don't want it to be too bulky so i only fill up my planner until june right now um Hubs is back in town. Myla is down for her nap. So, and Deshaun is sleeping too. So, I think I'm about to go ahead and eat lunch. I think I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch. And then I'm probably going to try to take a nap. I'm not really that tired, but I just feel like if I take a 20 minute nap, at least I'll probably have more energy later. And I do still need to run by the grocery store and I need to kind of like get started on cooking soon. But for right now, I'm just going to chill. I think we slept well <clears throat> I slept for like maybe about an hour and Myla slept for like I think like two hours so yeah I had a really good nap and I'm so happy about the naps I've been taking that was what I was missing last year like having even if it's just 20 minutes y'all having that 20 minute nap to just reset when I can I did not always have the luxury to do that last year because my work schedule was crazy but prayerfully this year no matter what my work schedule is I can continue to build that in because it is a total game changer like for my mental clarity for my energy um it, it should it works it's so good for me the Super Bowl is on right now I'm about to go downstairs with my husband and have dinner and dessert and watch the Super Bowl and I'm really just here for Usher, so I'm probably going to be editing, actually, while the game is on. But that is the end of this weekend's vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next vlog. Bye!